I'd like to tell you a little bit about Katie the Hen. Katie died recently and she was a very special hen. She was purchased by a couple from a live meat market who thought that Katie would make a nice pet, but the landlord objected, so they brought Katie to us. Here's Katie with a partridge. Several partridges escaped a hunting club over the hill and entered her aviary. Katie often stood next to them. When the partridges were frightened, they liked to snuggle up to her. One day the partridge got out of the aviary and I couldn't get him back in. I think it's because I was standing next to the gate here and he was scared of me. Anyway, what happened next was Katie, who was in the aviary, walked out, walked right up to the partridge and looked at the partridge and then Katie walked back into the aviary and the partridge followed Katie back in. Here's Katie with the turkeys. On another day, we had to give medicine to all the birds in this aviary. Well, when we gave the medicine to Katie, it wasn't too difficult. Uh, she didn't like it, but it was okay. Then when we tried to get Burdock, the Bantam rooster over here, boy did he put up a fuss. He flew around and he squawked and we couldn't get him at all. Finally he flew up against the fence and it looked like he had no more escape routes left. Then Katie flew over to, to Burdock and put her body right in front of Burdock's to make it difficult for us to get to Burdock. It was clear that Katie was trying to defend her friend. Once I was upset about something personal, and when I went into Katie's aviary, I felt a little bit like crying. Katie walked over to me, looked at me, and then sat down right next to my feet. It seemed to me she was trying to comfort me. After three years with us, when Katie was about six years old, she began to weaken. Last hours, Katie's friends stayed near her. I had often heard the term mother hen, but until I knew Katie, I never realized how caring I 